Okay, so now you have studied geography as one of the components of your social study course up to the secondary stage. And you're already aware of some of the phenomena of geographical nature in the world and its different parts. Now, in this class, you will study geography as an independent subject and learn about the physical environment of the earth, the human activities, and the interactive relationships between the two. So the question then you can ask at this stage before you begin on this journey is, why should we study geography? The reason is simple. We live on the surface of the earth and our lives are affected by our surroundings in many ways. We depend on the resources to sustain ourselves in the places where we live. And if we look at primitive societies, they subsisted on natural means. So for example, they would use edible plants and animals. But with the passage of time, we developed technologies and started producing our food using natural resources such as land, soil and water. We also adjusted our food habits and clothing according to the prevailing weather conditions. So there is quite a bit of diversity or variations in the natural resource space, the technological conditions, the technological development and the adaptation and modification with the physical environment, social organizations and the cultural development. So as a student of geography, you should be curious to know all the phenomena which vary over space. You learn about the diverse lands and people. You would also be interested in understanding the changes which have taken place over time. So the study of geography as an independent subject equips you to appreciate the diversity and investigate into the causes that are responsible for creating such variations over time and space. And you will develop skills to understand the globe converted into maps and have a visual sense of the Earth's surface. The understanding and the skills obtained in modern scientific technologies such as GIS and computer cartography equip you to meaningfully contribute to the national endeavor for development. Now, you might have a follow-on question, which is, what is geography well you do know that the earth is our home and it is also the home of many other creatures big and small the earth's surface is not uniform and it has variations in physical features so for example there are mountains hills valleys plains plateaus oceans lakes deserts and different kinds of forests. Well, there are variations in the social and cultural features too. There are villages, cities, roads, railways, ports, markets, and many other elements that are created by human beings across the entire period of their cultural development. Now, this variation provides a clue to the understanding of the relationship between the physical environment and the social and cultural features. The physical environment has provided the stage on which the human societies enacted the drama of their creative skills with the tools and techniques which they invented and evolved the process of their cultural development. Now we can try to attempt to answer the question, what is geography? But in very simple words, geography can be said that it is simply the description of the earth. And this term geography was coined uh, by Erastosthenes, who was a Greek scholar. The word has been derived from two roots from the Greek language, where geo means earth and graphos meaning description. So it basically means the description of the earth when these two words are put together. So the earth has always been seen as the abode of human beings and the scholars define geography as the description of the earth as the abode of human beings. 
Now you are aware of the fact that reality is always multifaceted and the earth is also multidimensional. That is why many disciplines from natural sciences such as geology, pedology, oceanography, botany, zoology and meteorology and a whole number of sister disciplines in social sciences such as economics, history, sociology, political science, anthropology and so on study different aspects of the earth's surface. Now how is geography different from other sciences in its subject matter? It is different but at the same time it is closely related to these disciplines so geography derives its database from all the natural and social sciences and attempts their synthesis. One another term that you might come across and in the idea of understanding geography is that it is the study of aerial differentiation. So we've noted that there, there exist variations over the surface of the earth in its physical as well as the cultural environment and a number of phenomena are similar and many are dissimilar. So it can be then logical to perceive geography as the study of the aerial differentiation which simply means the geography being as a study all of all those phenomena which vary over space. Now that brings us to a question of like what is a geographer? So what does a geographer really try to do is that he studies a few things. First, clearly a geographer does care about the phenomena on the earth's surface, but he doesn't stop there. He also studies the associations with the other factors which are causing this changes on the Earth's phenomena. To take an example, cropping patterns differ from one region to another region, one country to another country. But this variation in a cropping pattern as a phenomenon is related to variations in soils, climates, demands in the market capacity of the farmer to invest and technological inputs available to her or him. So the concern of geography is to find out the causal relationship between any two phenomena or between more than one phenomenon. In other words, a geogra geographer explains the phenomena in a frame of cause and effect relationship as it does not only help in interpretation, but also foresees the phenomena in the future. Now the geograph geographical phenomena, which is generally classified as two types, physical as well as human, are not static, but highly dynamic. By dynamic, we mean that they change over time as a result of the interactive processes between these two. They change over time as a result of the interactive processes between the ever-changing earth and the untiring and ever-active human beings. So primitive human societies were directly dependent on their immediate environment. Geography thus is concerned with the study of nature and human interactions as an integrated whole. Human is an integral part of nature and nature has the imprints of human. Nature has influenced different aspects of human life. Its imprints can be noticed on food, clothing, shelter and occupation. Human beings have come to adapt with nature through adaptation and modification. As you already know, the present society has passed the stage of primitive societies, which were directly dependent on their immediate physical environment for sustenance. Now present societies have modified their natural environment by inventing and using technology and thus have expanded the horizon of their operation by appropriating and utilizing the resources provided by nature. With the gradual development of technology, human beings were able to loosen the shackles of their physical environment. Technology helped in reducing the harshness of labor, increased labor efficiency, and provided leisure to human beings to attend the higher needs of life. It also increased the scale of production and the mobility of labor. So this interaction between the physical and the 
uh, human beings has been very succinctly described by a poet in the following dialogue between human and nature that is God. You created the soil, I created the cup. You created night, I created the lamp. You created wilderness, hilly terrains and deserts, I created flower beds and garden. Human beings have claimed their contribution using natural resources. With the help of technology, humans moved from the stage of necessity to a stage of freedom. They have put their imprints everywhere and created new possibilities in collaboration with nature. Thus, we now find humanized nature and naturalized human beings and geography studies this interactive relationship. The space got organized with the means of transportation and communication network. The links, that is the roots and the nodes, settlements of all types and hierarchies integrated the space and gradually it got organized. As a social science, geography studies the spatial organization as well as the spatial integration. So spatial means relating to the space. So you can think about geography as a discipline that is concerned with three distinct sets of questions. First, some questions, I mean all these three questions are related to the natural and cultural features. So the first question is about identifying the patterns of natural and cultural features as found over the surface of the earth. So these are essentially the questions of what? Then some questions are related about identifying the distribution of the natural and human or the cultural features over the surface of the earth. So these are essentially the questions of where. Now taken together, the questions, both of these questions of what and where, they take care of the distributional and the locational aspects of the natural and cultural patterns. And this was a very popular approach during the colonial period. Now these two questions did not make geography a scientific discipline until the third question was added. The third question is related to the explanation of the causal relationships between features and the processes and the phenomena. This aspect of geography is related to the question of why. So geography as a discipline is related to space and it takes note of special characteristics and attributes. It studies the pattern of distribution, location and concentration of phenomena over space and interprets them providing explanation for these patterns. It takes note of the associations and interrelationships between the phenomena over space and interprets them. It also takes the note of associations and interrelationships between the phenomena resulting from the dynamic interaction between human beings and their physical environment.